today's video is all about conference swag swag is basically the things that the companies give out as part of their sponsorships or as part of their events at a tech conference so as i mentioned in my devrel experiment video i have been attending a lot of technology events and as a result i have ended up with a lot of swag but what it also means that my house is kind of cluttered up with unnecessary swag right now and that got me thinking about the whole conversation in tech about swag being useful or wasteful and one of the reasons i think companies end up giving out wasteful swag is because they don't have enough audience feedback so in this video i want to share the swag that i found useful and i hope that this serves as a data point for companies and developer advocates who are planning swag for their next event so i was going through all the swag that i had collected and i realized that the useful swag falls in three primary buckets the first category is the usual stickers pins and t-shirts i'm very selective about the stickers that i put on my laptop because not only is it prime property but also it signifies my affiliations and i want to associate myself only with the organizations and projects that i believe in so companies that distribute stickers with just their logos i don't see the point of them if i don't have a very strong affiliation with the company but there is an exception Even if I'm not very strongly associated with the company or the brand, I can be very strongly associated with the message. For example, this is a sticker from Cisco. This is a sticker from a company called Flexport. And this is a sticker from Cigna. I do not have any strong associations with any of these companies. I am not their customer. I do not use their product. They are not in the same tech stack that I live in. But the message that each of these stickers send resonates very deeply with me. So I would happily showcase them on my laptop. Same goes for pins. I find pins to be a hit or miss. I don't know why I would wear a pin with a company's logo if I don't associate very strongly with the company. But if the pin has a message that resonates with me, I'll happily wear it. The second category of useful swag was things that I could use in my everyday life. So that includes this amazing travel pouch which is super cute, holds a lot of things and has a very good message. And it includes this beautiful tote bag from Flexport. this collapsible metal straw and this coloring book from groupon look how cute it is they also gave us these little coloring pencils which are super cute And the final category of usable swag is on-brand resources. So that includes these question-like cards from Quora about their job openings. I think Quora's cards were especially smart because Quora is a question and answer website. So it is totally on-brand. It is very innovative. It is very attention-grabbing, and it is very informative. Another example of on-brand resources are these really cute stickers from Snapchat and Slack. Snapchat and Slack both are known for its ease of use and friendliness and quirkiness and emojis. So I found these stickers to be very on-brand and also memorable. And the final example is this cheat sheet from GitHub which is a one-stop resource for everything you need to know about getting started with GitHub. and i think this is totally on brand it is very helpful it is very informative and it's just one of my favorite pieces of swag i have collected so far so that has been my collection of useful swag that is all that i'm keeping from all the things that i've collected in the last 3 months 
um and i hope this video was helpful i hope it helps you decide the swag for your next event and i would love to know what your favorite swag is so comment down below and let me know i'll see you in the next video bye